Greetings, Facebook. So check this shit out. My pillowcases are freshly laundered and dried, but my comforter is still being dried. It does take a bit longer to dry the comforter. That is perfectly understandable. I went and got my stove cleaned, I got my fridge cleaned, I pretty much got the back end of the bathtub on the inside and a little bit of sweeping to do. So my, you know what I'm saying, my apartment's looking ready for inspection. Hell fucking yeah, dude. Good fine afternoon, Simon. Now, as soon as my comforter's done drying, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a trip up to Walmart to get some wand leather so that way I can do another batch of wands, make some more money, make some more fans happy. Yeah. Don't ask me how, Facebook, but when I watched uh, one of the Bell Tower videos I posted to Facebook recently, in fact, this one right here, when I heard the first bell start to ring, I got goosebumps, and it was like, it was like I could literally hear and visualize myself pulling on that rope, watching the black and green Sally on the rope bob in between my hands as I pull on that rope to ring it. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> Cool beans. It's an F2. Cool. I was wondering too, because I'm like, what note is that bell? I really like it. And then someone comments, it is an F2. Cool. Let's verify this, hold on. F2 church bell. These pictures should match. Eh, thank you. Thank you, Google, so nice of you. man hmm well according to that person oh hold on if it's the youtuber who filmed the video let me double check <clears throat> let's see here <laughs> It's not the person who made the video, but I want to click on their channel. 
Oh, look at that. So this person has videos of bell towers on their channel. So very cool, very cool. That's how you know this person's an expert on this sort of thing. I mean, I'm aware of the various methods of ringing a church bell. I don't know exactly the notes, but cool. <sighs> yes, I'm getting hellaciously drunk today. I don't drink any more than I should, but it's 9-11, and I'm getting drunk for the victims. And even though it's a sad day in history, I'm trying not to focus on it too much, you know. That's why I'm firing up Facebook Live and, you know, yeah. Talking about other things, you know, trying to stay in a relatively good mood, even though I'm depressed because of the date. Uh. No, my sacrifice is not as great as those who sacrificed their lives to save so many people. Oh, drinking my booze, that's not a sacrifice. Although I appreciate the comment, Chris, but drinking my booze is not a sacrifice. It's merely a, a way for me to pay homage to those At least I'll know what notes I want for my bigger bell when I go to build my clock tower and change the subject because, yeah, it's a little bit depressing. But yeah, when I win the lottery and give a mayor a clock a call, you know what I'm saying? Let them know what I'm looking to build for my clock tower. Let them know I want 47 bells on a carillon and the 48th bell. I want it to be an F2 that swings from one side to the other on a wheel on an old school hemp bell rope with the black and green sally on it. I want the wooden handles on my carillon, the little pegs that you go like that to ring it. I want those to be shaped like hooded cobras with their mouths open. That'd be too fucking cool, dude. I want all the bells in my tower to have a pot leaf on one side, and then I want the swinging bell to have a hooded cobra on the other side. And then on the other side of my carillon bells, I want a pentagram. Ah, oh, fair enough. Chris says, you're sacrificing your sobriety and you're showing that you stand with them and will never forget. I'll drink to that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sacrificing my sobriety for fun, mind you. Normally getting drunk or tipsy is a celebratory occasion but sometimes people will drink because it's a way to commemorate indeed matt snorlax slack says music is a gift to the universe i would quite agree
sitting back with some pipe tobacco, getting my comforter washed, so that way my bed smells nice. Because it doesn't do you any good if you have a comfortable mattress and your shit stinks. You know what I'm saying? You could have the most comfortable mattress in the world, like sleeping on a goddamn cloud. And every chick that lays on it says the same thing. Oh my God, your bed is so comfortable. I won't do you any good if your bedding stinks. Now my sheets are clean. The blanket up on top of my sheets is clean. My pillowcases are clean. My pajamas are clean. There you go. And now... The coupe de resistance, a nice clean comforter. Yeah. And this is some good advice. If you're about to have sex with a chick for the first time and your bed's clean and smells nice, that's her first impression of your bed. And chicks dig that shit. Yeah. I know us guys are sweaty and gross, but, you know, that's no excuse, damn it. An F2, I like the sound of that bell. It's got a nice sinister sound to it. Like a mixture between an E minor and a, like a D almost. Yeah. Now, my clock tower on my dream house Facebook would be a little bit taller than the one in Cheyenne, but a lot wider to accumulate all 48 bells very comfortably. Nothing but staircases climbing the levels. And the stairs in my dream house would be super easy to climb. So that way, when I get to be an old fart, and I got people saying, Josh, you need to move out of your dream house and go into a retirement home. You're getting too old. I'm going to be waving my Cobra can, and I'm like, fuck you. I thought of this shit. You know what I'm saying? That way, if I have elders come over to visit from my family, and they want to check out the entire house, they'll have an easy time getting up the stairs. Yeah. I may be a goth punk, metalhead, hippie-looking son of a bitch, but let me tell you, I respect my elders. Because if you don't respect old people, trust and belief, you're going to get it when you're super old. Some young punk's going to come riding by on a hover scooter, and you're going to be waving your cane at them, watch where you're going, you little shit, and then you go, wait a second. You stop for a second, and you have a major deja vu moment when you were a kid almost running some old man over on your skateboard and then it hits you for a second and you're like fuck life's a bitch you need to respect old people and women even if they don't respect you that's just how i try to live my life you know because as soon as you disrespect women, as soon as you disrespect old people, you get played off as, oh, you're a typical male, or you're a typical young punk. Disrespectful little shit, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. I'm tired of the fucking cliches. Feeling good right now. <clears throat> God damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I learn something new about bell ringing every other day, to tell you the truth. When I watched that video on YouTube where they showed the old North Tower, which is America's bell tower, yeah. 
and the original bells that are still in there today, the ones that Paul Revere stood by when he held those two lanterns and put them in the bell tower to signal the British were coming, the original bells from that historical moment are still being rung, are still being rung today in that same tower. And I got to hear them on a YouTube video. Goosebumps, man. Oof. That just made my American pride swell up real nicely. And I got goosebumps listening to those bells. And that's when they told me the, the little colored tuft on the end of the rope that protects bell ringers' hands is called a sally. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Right on. This here is Smirnoff Blueberry Vodka mixed with some Pepsi. It's actually pretty good. I like it. That's the cool thing about going to the potion store. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, you know, yeah. Like now I got pretty much every detail of my clock tower in my house worked out in my head to a T. I know what I want and as soon as I get the money to build it, it's going to happen. Trust and believe. Facebook, trust and motherfucking believe. The Cobra's Cathedral is going to be a thing. That's what keeps me going. Knowing I'm this close to a super hot girlfriend that digs the shit out of me and I dig the sh and I dig the shit out of her, you know what I'm saying? And knowing I'm that close to a girlfriend and that cl that much closer to building my dream house. That's what keeps me going. All the negative bullshit and crap in our society and I'm like, you know what keeps me going? My dream house. The idea of living comfortably the rest of my life in my dream house. In my kitchen of my dream house, I'm going to have a small circular hibachi grill. And then in the corner, I'll have a stove and an oven. I'll have a fridge that makes water and ice. I'll have a sink and a dishwasher and enough cupboard space and a countertop. Yeah. Now, the reason why I want to put a circular hibachi grill in my kitchen of my dream house is so I can grill all year round. People will be like, you know, there's people in Wyoming who don't give a shit. They're like, I don't give a fuck. Four degrees outside, fucking winter, snowing. Fuck it. Fire up the grill and grab a beer. No, but if I had a circular hibachi grill in my kitchen in my dream house, trust and believe, barbecue all year round. You picture the original Adams Family house, but that huge tower in the middle is actually a clock tower with four clock faces and four bell tower shutters beneath the clock faces. First floor, you got the Carillon room. Here's the Carillon, and then the rope in front of it. Walk to a door, crawl up the staircase, walk up it, whatever. Second floor, you got the belfry. Spiral staircase leads to the ceiling of the belfry. Boom, there you go. There's the clock faces. You have a trap door in the ceiling. You open that bitch up, and it's like, whoa, hey, clock faces, cool. I want to build my dream house out of solid stone with a steel frame, and I want to make it solar powered. It's going to look like a Victorian Second Empire Gothic Adams family styled mansion with some modern conveniences. Yeah. I'm gonna get me a fucking flagpole so I can fly the American flag proudly. And the Wyoming flag too, why not? Hmm. 
Now, if I have seven acres, see, I don't have to have 20 acres, but I want my dream house to be four miles. Yes, I said it. I want my dream house to be four miles outside of Casper City limits on at least seven to 20 acres of land. I buy 20 acres of land just for the hell of it. And then re fucking replant a bunch of maple trees, pine trees, and willows. Maples, pines, and willows. Four acres of land, three different trees replanted. Oh, yeah. It created a spooky little forest around my dream house. The landscaping, breathtaking. Oh. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. I'd have my own fucking shooting range for fuck's sake. I'd have steel targets set up. I'd be doing Carillon videos. I'd be doing food reviews. I'd be doing shooting videos. I'd be like, so Taco Bell came out with this new thing, blah, blah, blah. So I figured I'd review it in my clock tower. Hold on a second. Pan the camera this way. So here's the, sh here's the F2. Here's the F2 rope swung bell chilling up behind me, just kind of leaning against it and be like, yo. Yeah. And if I built my fucking dream house, trust and believe, if I had loyal fans that I know I could trust, I would invite them over to hang out in my clock tower Maybe take a couple rings at the Cobra's Carol on. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Cobra's Carol on. That's got a nice ring to it. I mean, you got a Carol on, and normally the wooden pegs on a Carol on are just little round things. Like, meh. I want the keys on my Carol on, on the piano type console that Carol ons have. Those little wooden pegs that stick out individually on the carillon. I want the ones on mine to be shaped like little hooded cobras with their mouths open. Like, you know what I'm saying? That'd be sick as shit. That would be sick as shit, dude. That'd be a, a bit more expensive to have a custom made carillon piano box for it, but totally worth it. I'd have a pipe organ in my parlor, yeah. Let me give you the layout of my dream house, okay? I'll just, hold on a second. Walk in the front door to the right, there's the parlor with the attached walk-in garage and the pipe organ and everything. To the left, there's living room, dining room, on this side, underneath the staircase, kitchen. Walk up the stairs, there's the other rest of it, yeah. Simple enough, simple enough. My glass is fucking empty, and I'm commemorating the sacrifice that people made on this tragic day. Never forget. Never forget YouTube and Facebook. Never forget. It's just enough Pepsi that I poured into that bottle to kind of soften the burn a little bit, but that's still pretty, pretty potent. Just enough Pepsi to add some sugar and caffeine to it and kind of soften the burn just a little bit, but ugh. look at that bottle's almost gone. Mm. 
Now, imagine my surprise when I see customers who have purchased wands on Cobra Crafts wands and they're returning customers. They're like, dude, your wands are so cool. I got to buy another one. I appreciate that. Even if I'm broke most of the time, sometimes, I don't care. You know, I find ways to make myself happy that don't require a whole lot. I'm humble, you know. And if I won the fucking lottery, trust and believe I'd never change. I'd still be as humble as I am today. I'd have like a four car garage. I'd have a fucking four car garage attached to my fucking parlor, dude. Hey man, you want to go to Danzing on Halloween in Colorado with me? 30th anniversary tour. I'll have to get back to you on that, David. That sounds like awesome fun, but I got to make sure my work schedule is cleared up first. You know what I'm saying? Work before pleasure gives a man great leisure. Money before pleasure gives a man great leisure. Remember that. I see a lot of guys who are more focused on getting pussy, and it's like, yeah, I like getting pussy. I crave it, just like any heterosexual male. But you have to be more focused on making money. What good is having a girlfriend if you can't spoil her rotten? That's all I'm getting at. Now, I understand that money doesn't necessarily require a relationship, but if you have money to spoil your girlfriend rotten, it makes things a little bit sweeter. I'm the kind of guy that likes to spoil his girlfriend. That's just the kind of person I am. Even if it's not much, you know, I try at least. And most of the girls I've been with recently have noticed that I've tried and they appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Uh. And of course, when you go into public smelling like you've been drinking, people just look at you like, oh, this fucking alcoholic. They don't even know, you know. Even though I'm sacrificing my sobriety just for the sake of commemorating, that's not as great as the sacrifice that people have made to save those on this tragic anniversary. Man, I get all excited talking about my dream house and then I remember it's 9-11 and I'm like, oh, fuck. It kind of kills the mood, dude. I'm not going to lie.
But then I think about the chick I want to ask out, and it's like, okay, stress avoided to a degree. It's just the compassion I have that makes me do those things. You know, being a compassionate, caring person gets you, it, it gets you screwed over. People take advantage of your kindness. They see it as a sign of weakness, and it's like, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Hold on a second. A pain in the ass to wash, but totally worth it, Facebook. Beautiful. Throw that dryer sheet away. That's how much of an Ozzy Osbourne fan I really am. I got a signed picture of Ozzy Osbourne hanging up on my wand rack, and every time I bump into it, I'll apologize. Mmm. go oh damn now my bed is clean and professional yeah um. mm. now the next chick I fuck in that bed is gonna be like oh my god your bed's so comfortable and it smells so clean there you go Now, the reason why I started making my Facebook Live videos public, so anybody can watch them. They don't have to be friends with me on Facebook to watch it. That way, if some asshole steals my Facebook Live videos and tries to twist it to make me look like a shitty person, people can come back and be like, well, check out his live video on Facebook. It's public. Oh, look at that. I see how the person did that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 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 
don't get to, I don't wash my bedding as often as I should just because it takes longer and more money. But yo my bedding is clean and my bed looks good. It's nice and clean. Hold on a second. Now keep in mind, McMurray mattresses are very comfortable to lay on, but going back to what I said earlier, it doesn't matter how comfortable your mattresses are, if your comforter and your sheets and all that smell nasty like B.O. and shit, you know what I'm saying, then ain't nobody gonna want to fuck you. Look at done fucking you and be like, well, your bed's comfortable, but it smells like bleh. You know what I'm saying? If you want to make a good first impression on a potential date and don't expect to get laid on the first date, but at the same time, be prepared. You know what I'm saying? But don't act like you're prepared. Just be like, oh, well, hey, this is good chemistry. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> a chick goes to have sex with you for the first time and she's down on your bed you two are getting into it her first impression her first impression of your bed is that it's clean and comfortable that makes a good impression on the ladies. Second thing you want to do is make sure you're good at what you do in bed. You know what I'm saying? That's the coup de resistance. You give her a clean, smelling, comfortable bed to lay on, and you fuck her like a porn star, treat her like a goddess. That's what I'm saying. When it comes to having a girlfriend, fuck her like a porn star, treat her like a goddess. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, tubes. Facebook, social media, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Will there be a 9-11 memorial of vocal cover? I thought about doing something like that. But I, I'd have to find like the right song. Do like a country song about America and sing along to it. I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't want a copyright strike on Facebook. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, <sighs> I forgot my keyboard doesn't. <laughs> yep. My fucking keyboard don't work. That's all right because I got a plan. 9-11 tribute country songs. Let's see. Uh, let's go to videos. Hmm, shoot. And the world stop turning. Uh, uh, 
Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue by Toby Keith. There we go. I'm going to look that song up on YouTube and I'll sing it. So thank you for the idea, whoever suggested that, because I wanted to do something for YouTube to commemorate. And sitting here drinking on Facebook Live, it's just, it's not enough, dude. It's not enough. And, um... Well, I never actually attempted to sing Toby Keith on YouTube, but for the sake of the video I'm going to post, I'll attempt it. I'll check at you in a minute. <laughs> 